Blood-stained shards of destroyed cryopods littered the deck of the USS Artemis, with only one pod still intact, the pod containing the last human soldier, Christian Gordon. He gasped as the lid hissed open, revealing the dimly lit interior of humanity's final warship. Christian's muscles ached as he pulled himself out, disoriented and confused. The ship's AI spoke, its voice echoing through the empty corridors. Welcome back, Sergeant Gordon. I'm afraid I have dire news. We are the last ones left. The Lemnorians have wiped out the rest of the human race. Their insectoid armies have conquered Earth and all our colonies. Dr. Elena Romanoff is our only hope. She's a prisoner on their homeworld, Lemnoria Prime, and she holds the key to stopping their advance. We're approaching the planet now. You must infiltrate their capital city, rescue Dr. Romanoff, and get her research on the Lemnorians' weaknesses. Christian stumbled to the armory, his mind racing. Images of the war flashed before his eyes, cities reduced to rubble, human soldiers torn apart by the Lemnorians' razor-sharp claws, and their ships darkening the skies. He knew the stakes. If he failed, humanity would be extinct. The Lemnorians would continue their relentless conquest unopposed. As he geared up, Christian couldn't shake a nagging feeling that something was off about the AI's story, but there was no time for doubts. The USS Artemis shuddered as it entered Lemnoria Prime's atmosphere. Christian checked his weapons one last time, his heart pounding. The fate of the human race rested on his shoulders. Failure was not an option. The airlock hissed open, revealing the alien landscape below. Christian stepped forward, ready to face whatever horrors awaited him on this mission. He was humanity's last hope, a lone soldier against an empire the final stand in a war that had consumed the galaxy. As his boots hit the ground, he knew one thing for certain, he would either succeed or die trying. There was no middle ground, not any more, not with extinction on the line. Christian stepped out of the airlock, his boots sinking slightly into the sticky, resinous ground. The air was thick and heavy, carrying the acrid scent of Lemnorian secretions that made his nose wrinkle. He took a moment to survey his surroundings, taking in the sprawling hive-like structures that made up the Lemnorian capital city. It pulsed with alien activity, the sounds of clicking and skittering echoing through the labyrinthine streets. With a deep breath, Christian activated his cloaking device, shimmering out of view. He began navigating the twisting paths, his senses on high alert for any signs of danger. His heart pounded in his chest as he moved, the weight of his mission bearing down on him. Suddenly a guttural clicking sound from behind made Christian whirl around, his hand instinctively going to his plasma rifle. A massive Lemnorian warrior stood there, its compound eyes glinting in the dim light. Christian froze, hardly daring to breathe, but the creature moved past him, seemingly unaware of his presence thanks to the cloaking device. Christian exhaled slowly, forcing himself to keep moving deeper into the city. Just then his calm crackled to life, the voice of Dr. Romanov barely audible over the static. Christian, is that you? Thank God you're here. I don't have much time. They're coming for me. I'm hiding in the... The transmission cut out abruptly, leaving Christian with a growing sense of dread. He knew he had to find Dr. Romanov quickly, but the city was vast and alien, and he had no idea where to begin. As he rounded a corner, he came face to face with a group of Lemnorian drones. Their antennae twitched as they communicated with each other in a series of clicks and chirps. Christian backed away slowly, his heart racing in his chest. But then, as if called by some unseen force, the drones suddenly turned and scuttled away. Christian leaned against a wall, trying to catch his breath. Time was running out. He had to act fast if he hoped to find Dr. Romanov and complete the mission— the fate of humanity rested on his shoulders. He couldn't afford to fail. As Christian moved deeper into the heart of the alien city, the pulsating pods lining the walls of the buildings caught his eye. He stepped closer to inspect one, his heart nearly stopping as he saw a human face inside, twisted in agony. The captive's eyes were wide open, staring blankly ahead, their mouth frozen in a silent scream. Christian stumbled back, his stomach churning as he realized the true extent of the Lemnorian's cruelty. These pods were everywhere, each one containing a human prisoner, 
kept alive for some nefarious purpose. Suddenly, a piercing alarm cut through the air, the sound reverberating off the hive-like structures. The city came alive with activity, Lemnorian warriors pouring out of the buildings like angry hornets from a disturbed nest. Their weapons were at the ready, and Christian knew he had been discovered. He ducked into a nearby alcove, his heart pounding in his chest as he activated his suit's thermal imaging. He scanned the area, searching for any sign of Dr. Romanov amidst the chaos. There! A faint heat signature coming from a building in the distance. It had to be her. Christian sprinted towards the building, his cloaking device flickering as he dodged Lemnorian patrols and leapt over obstacles in his path. He could hear the clicking and chirping of the aliens behind him, their footsteps growing closer with each passing second. As he reached the entrance of the building, Christian found it sealed shut, a complex alien locking mechanism barring his way. He didn't have time to hack the lock, not with the Lemnorians hot on his heels. He reached for a plasma grenade, his hands shaking as he armed the device. He took a deep breath, steeling himself for whatever horrors awaited him on the other side of the door. With a final glance over his shoulder, Christian placed the grenade against the lock and dove for cover. The explosion rocked the building, sending debris flying in all directions. As the dust settled, Christian saw that the door had been blown open, revealing a dark, cavernous interior. He could hear movement inside, the skittering of Lemnorian feet mixed with a distinctly human sound, a woman's panicked breathing. Christian gripped his plasma rifle tightly, the weapon thrumming with energy. He stepped through the shattered doorway, ready to face whatever nightmares the Lemnorians had in store. The fate of humanity rested on his shoulders, and he would not fail. He couldn't. Dr. Romanoff was counting on him, and so was every last human left in the universe. As he moved deeper into the building, the darkness seemed to close in around him, the air thick with the stench of fear and desperation. Christian's heart raced as he strained his ears, listening for any sign of Dr. Romanoff. Suddenly, he heard a muffled cry, followed by the unmistakable sound of Lemnorian claws on metal. He sprinted towards the sound, his boots pounding against the slick, resin-coated floor. The plasma grenade detonated with a blinding flash, sending jagged shards of the alien door flying in all directions. Smoke and debris filled the air as Christian charged through the gaping hole, his weapon raised and ready. He found himself standing in a dimly lit chamber, the walls lined with strange pulsating machinery that emitted an eerie green glow. In the center of the room, suspended in a transparent pod filled with glowing, viscous liquid, was the motionless figure of Dr. Romanoff. Her eyes were closed, her features serene, as if she were merely sleeping. Christian rushed to the pod, his heart pounding in his chest as he searched for a way to release her. Suddenly a low, menacing growl emanated from the shadows behind him. Christian spun around, his finger tightening on the trigger of his weapon. From the darkness emerged a towering, insectoid form, Hydrus, the Lemnorian High Commander. The alien's exoskeleton gleamed in the eerie light, his compound eyes fixed on Christian with a malevolent intensity. Hydrus spoke, his guttural words translated by Christian's suit AI. Foolish human, the alien sneered. You think you can save her? She is already ours, her mind absorbed into the hive consciousness. And now, you will join her. A searing pain exploded inside Christian's skull, as if a white-hot knife was being driven into his brain. He staggered, realizing with horror that Hydrus was attempting to mentally dominate him, to break his will and absorb him into the Lemnorian hive mind. Christian gritted his teeth, fighting back against the invasive presence with all his strength. He focused on his mission, on his loyalty to humanity, using those thoughts as a shield against Hydrus's psychic onslaught. But the pain only intensified, driving him to his knees. His vision blurred, the room spinning around him. Just as he felt himself slipping away, his mind on the verge of shattering, Christian heard a voice, Dr. Romanov's voice, echoing in his thoughts. Fight back, Christian, she urged, her words a lifeline in the darkness. You're stronger than him. You can do this. With a final desperate surge of willpower, Christian pushed himself to his feet, 
his plasma rifle whining as he prepared to fire. He unleashed a barrage of searing bolts at Hydrus, the blasts tearing through the alien's exoskeleton, sending him reeling back into the shadows with a screeching cry of pain. But Christian knew he had only bought himself a few precious moments. Hydrus would recover soon, and Lemnorian reinforcements were undoubtedly on their way. He turned back to the pod, his hands shaking, as he frantically searched for a way to free Dr. Romanov before it was too late. The clock was ticking, the fate of humanity hanging in the balance, and Christian was their last hope. Christian's fingers flew across the pod's controls, his heart pounding as he searched for the release mechanism. The chamber shook with the impact of Lemnorian claws against metal, the sound growing louder with each passing second. Just as the pod hissed open, Dr. Romanov tumbled into Christian's arms, her body limp and cold. The viscous green liquid spilled onto the floor, pooling around their feet as Christian gently lowered her to the ground. He pressed his fingers against her neck, feeling for a pulse. For a moment there was nothing, and Christian's heart sank. But then a faint, steady beat thrummed beneath his fingers. Dr. Romanov was alive. Christian let out a sigh of relief, his shoulders sagging as he prepared to lift her into his arms. But as he turned towards the shattered doorway, he found himself face to face with Hydrus, the Lemnorian commander's exoskeleton already knitting itself back together. Behind him, a dozen heavily armed warriors clicked and chittered, their weapons trained on Christian's chest. Christian's grip tightened on his plasma rifle, but he knew he was outmatched. There was no way he could fight his way out, not with Dr. Romanov in his arms. Suddenly Dr. Romanov stirred, her eyes fluttering open. She looked up at Christian and he saw a strange, otherworldly glow in their depths. I'm sorry, Christian, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the hum of the alien machinery. I didn't want it to end like this. Before Christian could react, Dr. Romanov pushed herself out of his arms, staggering to her feet. She faced Hydrus, her body trembling with an energy that Christian had never seen before. She raised her hands, and a blinding blast of psychic energy erupted from her palms, engulfing the Lemnorians in a searing white light. Hydrus and his warriors screamed in agony, their exoskeletons cracking and splitting as the flesh beneath melted away. The stench of burning chitin filled the air, and Christian watched in horror as the Lemnorians disintegrated before his eyes, their bodies reduced to nothing more than smouldering piles of ash. Dr. Romanov turned to face Christian, tears streaming down her face. The otherworldly glow in her eyes had intensified, and Christian realized with a start that she had somehow absorbed the Lemnorians' hive consciousness, turning their own power against them. I had no choice, she whispered, her voice trembling. It was the only way to stop them, but now I am one of them. The hive mind, it's a part of me, and I can feel it consuming my humanity. Christian reached out to her, but she pulled away, shaking her head. No, Christian, I can't go back. I'm not human anymore. I'm something else, something dangerous. Promise me you'll destroy the USS Artemis and all the data on board. Don't let anyone else suffer like I have. With a final anguished look, Dr. Romanov turned and walked away, disappearing into the depths of the alien city. Christian watched her go, his heart heavy with grief and loss. He knew he had no choice but to honor her final wish and ensure that the Lemnorian's twisted technology never fell into human hands again. With a heavy sigh, Christian activated his suit's self-destruct sequence, the countdown flashing on his HUD. He began the long, lonely journey back to the USS Artemis, his footsteps echoing through the empty streets of the Lemnorian capital. He was ready to end the war once and for all, even if it meant sacrificing everything he held dear. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.